Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to take a look at some really cool cereals. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We're going to check out some really cool cereals today. All right. Okay, so. So let's begin with the countdown. This is going to be a super short countdown, but I have a lot to say about these cereals. So at number four, let's start with Ghostbusters Afterlife cereal. So this is actually a pretty awesome cereal, even though it's not currently for sale. I just collect the boxes, but I have had this cereal before. I actually have two of these boxes and the uh, it's got uh, corn puffs that are actually kind of fruity flavored. If you look at the, the box there, they are not the typical Kix colored uh, little round circle thingies, uh, but they they do have a more of a, um, I don't know what to say, like a, a fruity flavor. And then the marshmallows are actually really good. So it came with like white ghost marshmallows and then it looks like what, blue stars? Or those could be the muncher ghost. But um, they were, it was really good. Um, I can't wait for the new Ghostbusters uh, movie to come out so they can, you know, who knows what kind of cereal they're gonna come up with. Probably like a, a frozen, uh, maybe blue um, kind of themed. So I can't wait for the new Ghostbusters Frozen Kingdom because who knows what kind of cereal that it's going to. Uh, so I can't wait to see the new Frozen Empire and what kind of cereal they're going to have on the shelves. That should be exciting. So in the back, it's got like just some, some little trivia, these cute little questions that you can answer. Do you believe ghosts are real? A, no, at least I really, really hope they aren't. B, yes, my great uncle twice removed saw one, saw one once. Or C, heck yeah, there's one living under my bed right now. Okay. It's not a really good thing to think about right now. Uh, th it's filled with these little anecdotal questions here. What would you do if you found a ghost in your closet? What equipment do Ghostbusters use to detect psychokinetic energy? And it's a PB&J meter, a PKE meter, or a psych psychokinetic energy. Sounds too scary. I don't want to detect it. Uh, really cool stuff. Um, and if you, depending on your score here on the bottom, it tells you what kind of a ghost hunter you are. So if you got 15 to 16, a 15 to 18 score, you are the new, you are the Ghostbusters new fearless leader. And if you got 11 to 14 score, welcome to the team Ghostbuster. And if you got a seven to 10 score, keep trying, you'll get there one day. And if you got a six score, afraid you are too easily frightened to join the team. And it's got a nice little muncher graphic and the little stay puffed uh little mini puffs um get the logo get the proton energy stream here on the side this is really cool uh cereal and i honestly can't wait for more you know when the new ghostbusters frozen empire comes out maybe it'd be like i don't know white corn puffs blue marshmallows I don't, i'm excited so Moving on. What do you guys think about Elf cereal? So, again, another corn puffs. I guess the whole corn puffs formula is, is very easy for companies to just customize and throw out their own type of marshmallows. But Elf cereal, so Elf is actually my wife's, one of my wife's favorite movies. And I really haven't seen it in full until we started dating. Now we watch it every year. And it is a really pretty funny movie. Um, I, I do like it. It's got Zoe Deschanel. It's got, of course, it's got Will Ferrell's buddy. Um, it's got James Caan in it uh, in a very non-serious role. Um, it's, it's a likable movie. Uh, and this cereal is equally as likable. So the marshmallows here are very unique. If you could take a look at the shapes of the marshmallows, check that out. So they're even more uh, fruity flavored and they're on different uh, shapes. They're not your typical marshmallow shapes. 
The corn puffs are just plain like kicks, but that's okay. Uh, the syrup here, it says here, flavored with maple syrup and other natural flavors. So yeah, that this corn puffs actually have this really nice maple syrup taste to it. Makes the milk taste like maple syrup. It's crazy, it's super sugary. And this stuff is terrible, but it's terrible for us, but it tastes amazing. Check out the marshmallow shapes there on the side. Now, I'm gonna check out stores to see if they have it again uh, this year. And I do uh, see online that uh, the maple syrup, Elf uh, maple syrup uh, by, I forgot the brand name, but it's out there as well. So I'm gonna check my Walmart. In the back, it's got Buddy the Elf and his Clausometer. See that little graphic there, buddy? Pretty awesome. It says, Buddy needs all of our help to raise more Christmas spirit so Santa's sleigh can fly high. To help Buddy spread Christmas cheer, you could, and then there's these options here, these little stories. You could deck the halls by making holiday garland with colorful construction paper rings. I miss doing that. I did that all the time in elementary school. Uh, you could send Santa a surprise. Draw a picture of Santa and send it to him in the North Pole. I don't think I ever wrote a, a letter to Santa Claus. Sing loud for all to hear. Gather your family and sing carols for all your neighbors. Share some sweet treats. Find Buddy approved recipes at BettyCrocker.com for all your friends and family. And then of course, lend a helping hand. Organize neighborhood food drive and donate. And it's got syrup according to spaghetti, just like in the movie. Love it. And you got a Norwal here, just like in the movie when he said bye to the Norwal when he left the North Pole. It's a um, really cool movie and it's an equally cool cereal. So here are the nutrition facts. Okay, anyway, moving on uh, to... Now, I love KO cereals just because how inventive they are. Now, I don't know, this looks so legit like a Cinnamon Toast Crunch cereal. Um, you got the color, you got the font, it, the style of the box. I, I, I honestly thought this was the Mentos Crunch or like a um, spin-off cereal, but I don't think it is at all, actually. Uh, <laughs> I don't see a brand on here. Oh, yeah. So, you know, it is General Mills, right there on the top corner. And I believe, so this is not a KO, this is a spin-off. Uh, of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. So this is Sugar Cookie Toast Crunch. The thing is, the box is very inventive. Check out the back. It's just cute. I love the illustration. But the cereal kind of falls short a little bit. It's basically, if you had Cinnamon Toast Crunch before, then you've had this cereal. Uh, there's nothing super special or holiday tasting um, about this cereal. It, it's very much just like a a repackaging of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. But it tastes good. And uh, I guess the box was limited edition, so I have the box here. And it's the very vibrant illustration on the side. And uh, it, it is pretty good. Uh, just don't expect anything super special about it. Uh, it's, again, you can get this year round and it's like regular Cinnamon Toast Crunch. If anything, I could be a little generous and say it was slightly different tasting than the original, but to me, it was almost like just tasting the original. So, my last box of cereal that I have right now, and I've had so many cereals lately, but I, I just recycle the boxes. I need to keep them more, but this is my favorite. And there is still some in it. I'm still trying to finish it because I got like three boxes that I went through. Ninja Turtle cereal. Now this is the Mutant Mayhem version and all you 80s and 90s kids might have remembered uh, the original Ninja Turtle cereal when it came out with 87 cartoon. Now I had that too when I was young and that was just perfect. There's like a, these rice checks like Crispex along with some uh, very unique marshmallows. Well this cereal it does try a little bit. You know I'm not too much of a fan of the wafer shapes here. They're not like corn puffs, they're just like wafers. But I love the marshmallows and I love how you can collect all the turtles. So the marshmallows are actually the strongest point of this cereal. 
and the taste itself, like like I said, those wafers, those they like cinnamon apple. They do, you know, they get kind of like boring after a while, uh, after eating so many bowls, you know. It, I don't know why they went with apple cinnamon. You know, it's more of a relaxed flavor. It doesn't really give you a kick, you know. And these, I feel like the Ninja Turtles cereal needs to just come out and give you like a just like a, a kick with the flavor. Uh, I do like it enough to keep buying, <laughs> and I because I, I love it, and I think that it's great that Ninja Turtles had the cereal out after all these years, and they skipped all those years, you know. But now we got uh, Mutant Mayhem cereal, and the movie itself was pretty good. I'm gonna stick with the original, uh, my my love of the original movies with the Jim Henson creature suits and everything. But I did give this a watch, and I love the cereal as well. So I actually have some left in there. So check it out. You guys can look closely at the little Ninja Turtle shapes. So I'm going to eat some right now and tell you how it is. Just going to put a little bit here. I'm gonna pull out some, see if I can get all the turtles in one with just by randomly putting my, I'm just gonna just pick out some random Ninja Turtles and we'll see if just the ones on top, let's see if we got them all. So here's what we got here, are the Ninja Turtle cereal, here are the Ninja Turtles, pizza tossing turtles, hey guys. Here's the cereal. There are the little wafers. And did we get them all? I don't think we did. We got Mikey. We got Donnie. We got, we're missing Leonardo. Almost, almost. I'm going to eat these guys and I'm going to tell you how it tastes. So this is how you eat cereal. Mmm. Okay. It fell on the floor. A little too apple cinnamon for me. Like I said, the, the flavor does get boring after a while. It gets overplayed. Okay, that marshmallow like turned into powdery dust. And the marshmallows without fail are the best thing of this cereal. Mmm. Let's eat them all. Yeah. So, I feel like a turtle now. Let's go back to the back of the box, which is super cool and super fun. This is my favorite. This is why I'm keeping these boxes. I think I have another one in somewhere, but the maze. So this is amazing. So you start here. And you got to finish here, you got to go through Rock City and Bebop. And I thought it would be cute to like, maybe cut out your own turtle, uh, Ninja Turtle style uh, little tokens here. And then you can bend it backward or something and then have it travel through the maze. Is it like a game? So you can collect both games to complete the adventure. This is game one of two. I actually think I got the same game on the other box. To play, each player places a marshmallow turtle on start. Oh, so they want you to use marshmallow heads. Uh, flip a coin to move. Heads move one, tails move two. And number three, first player to defeat Bebop in Rocksteady wins. There's up to four players. Sounds fun. Maybe I'll make a video in the future and we can play together. Or make a lot like a live video or something. So if you guys want to see more videos of me reviewing random nostalgic food because I love it that was for the thumbnail uh, that uh, how about this that's better okay let's do that better. let's do that one for the thumbnail so uh, I have more nostalgic type goodies uh, coming soon uh, so if you guys like what you saw in the video don't forget to like comment subscribe we'll keep the vibe going because we love nostalgic shit uh, and I appreciate you guys. 
thanks for the follow and I will see you later.